What is up you guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Mackenzie. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. So as you guys can see, I've got quite a few different tools and machines on the table in front of me. And that's because in today's video, I'm just going to give you guys a quick update on them all. So some of the most frequently asked questions that I get is in reference to a specific tool or machine or product that I've reviewed on my channel before, whether or not I use it still, what do I think of it now months later? So I figured I'm just going to take these five put them all in this video and just give you guys my quick updates on all of them. So if that sounds like something you guys are into, let's get started. All right guys, Solstice just came in here meowing her head off cause she wanted to be held. So I figured I would just give you guys an update. Look at how big she's getting already. This ain't no kitten anymore. She's huge. And it, still, this is her favorite place to be. She just wants to cuddle up in my neck all of the time. She was just meowing her head off at the door so I could let her in and then jumps up right here. I always bend down to just pet her and then she jumps up right here, right on my neck because she wants to be held like a little baby. My little baby. You guys hear her purring? Look at that face. There are no bright lights. Kitty update. What do I think of this tool now that we're a month in? Love it. 10 out of 10 recommend if you can get yourself a solstice. Look at this, how can you not love that? Okay, say bye to everybody. Alrighty guys, so really quickly, if you don't wanna know any details and you're just curious which ones I use the most, let's go over that first. Number one, Gripon Zephyr. Absolutely love this thing. If I'm using a ring saw, I'm going to pull out the Zephyr. I don't know what it is, it just feels easier to me, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Number two, Cutter's Mate Mini Extra. Absolutely love, absolutely recommend this thing. Number three, the Glassstar Stained Glass Foiler. So that means we've got the Score One Glass Cutter and the Taurus Ring Saw 3. Now, that does not mean that I don't recommend these products. I recommend and love all of these products. But for me personally, for whatever reason, these are the three that I use the most. Again, the Zephyr, the Cutters Mate Mini Extra, and the Glass Star Stand Glass Foiler when we're talking about all five of these products. So now let's get into why. Let's start with the ring saws first. Now, again, first and foremost, I absolutely recommend both of them. I love them both. I would never get rid of one over the other because they both offer a little bit of a different experience. Now, again, uh, this just feels easier to me. I don't know how else to describe it. For whatever reason, pulling this thing up from the basement, using it, cleaning it, and putting away, this just feels so much easier to do that with than this one does for whatever reason. It just feels more lightweight. The design feels more simple and straight to the point. I don't know how else to describe it, but this is just easier to use for me for some reason. I love the Zephyr, and again, I love this too especially if you're looking for something that you can use in that handheld mode and pull this off maybe you do want something like the taurus ring saw they're both fantastic machines absolutely recommend them both and i do still use them both i just happen to use this one a lot more i don't know what it is i don't know why but again i love them both you guys just have to look at all options for both so if you're choosing between the zephyr and the taurus you need to look at what they both offer how much they cost, where you can get them shipped from, everything about them, and then make your decision. It's all personal preference. Absolutely recommend them both, but because I have them both, I have to choose, or it's just natural that I choose one that I like a little bit more, and for whatever reason right now, that's this one. So that's what's up with the ring saws. Now, let's talk about the Cutters Mate Mini Extra. Again, absolutely love this thing. Now, this isn't something that I pull out every single day, every single time I cut. It's more so for those times where I'm cutting out patterns that have a lot of repetitive pieces. So say I'm doing a restock where I know I have to make 10 sun catchers to, or 15 sun catchers, those sun catchers that you guys have seen me make here on my channel. There's so many of the same exact size and shape pieces in those that's when I'm going to pull something like this out. Or if I have to do a ton of very straight cuts or say I'm making a wicked big mosaic and I know I'm going to need a ton of perfectly shaped square mosaic pieces, that's when I'm gonna pull this thing out. I absolutely love it. And again, particularly if you're somebody that has issues with their wrist, arthritis, hand problems, whatever it is, 
This is going to be a huge, huge help. I absolutely recommend this thing. But again, this is one of those things that most likely you're not going to pull out every single time you need to cut a piece of glass. That's just not really what it is. You can, you absolutely can do that. But for somebody like me, this is my job. I'm trying to get things done as quick as I possibly can, especially when I'm filming videos. So like I've also often said to you guys, just because you don't see something in a video doesn't mean I'm not using it. A video is, what, a couple hours of my day and I'm cutting and making stained glass every single day of the week. You guys have got to remember, if I'm filming a video, it's going to be a lot easier for me to go and grab my pencil cutter, film the video real quick cutting glass and put it away versus taking out the cutter's mate, setting it up, cutting the glass, breaking it back down, putting it away and finishing filming the video. It's just a lot easier. And beyond that, I said this to somebody recently or a few people actually recently, this, this is my job and I'm not giving free advertisement to all of these companies. Not only is that not fair to me, it's not fair to the other brands that send me stuff or the other tools and stuff that I have. So with that in mind, just remember, just because you don't see something on my channel anymore doesn't mean I don't use it. I very much on purpose try to keep all of those things out of the spotlight. Whatever video it is that I'm working on, I want that to be the focus of the video versus a specific product. Does that make sense? So. Cutters Make Mini Extra, absolutely love it, absolutely recommend it, especially if you've got problems with your hand and wrist. Same thing with the score one. So I don't recommend this like I do this thing. Now, for a couple reasons. Number one, this thing is tiny. Number two, it's like I said in that video where I reviewed it, it's a big piece of plastic and it's pretty expensive. And number three, you've only got this tiny little space right here. So this very much limits the size of glass that you can cut on this thing. Again, I think that this is a huge help to people that maybe shake a little bit too much or just need help with wrist pressure, hands, arthritis, whatever it is. I think that this could be a game changer for somebody like that. But of course, you've got to keep in mind how much you can cut on a space like this if you're having to cut any curves within that piece of glass. So again, I do recommend this. I do think it's cool. But I would say if you can go for something like this, like the Cutters Mate, I would do that. All of the Cutters Mate systems are fantastic. They work great and they will save your wrist if you already have wrist problems. So last but not least, let's talk about the Glass Star Stained Glass Foiler. Again, this isn't something that I pull out all the time. This is also something that I'm more likely to pull out when I'm doing a ton of repetitive pieces. So again, say I'm doing a sun catcher restock, I've got, what is it? So each one of my sun catchers has eight pieces of the same exact size and shape. And if I'm making 15 of those sun catchers, I can get going really, really fast on this foiler. So do I think it's two times faster than hand foiling? Maybe in those scenarios, because as you're using it, the more you use it, the quicker you go. But then when you stop and then you go back to it a couple of days later, you kind of start over again. So I like pulling this out when I have a lot of the same or similar size pieces because that's when I can really get going super fast as far as foiling. So glass starts in glass foiler. Again, absolutely recommend it. Totally recommend all of these products. It's just the Cutters Mate is fantastic. Zephyr is fantastic. And the stained glass foiler is fantastic. Now again, I've often also said this to you guys, remember, these are just things. You guys don't need any of this stuff to make stained glass. None of these things are necessary. They're just added tools and machines that can make the stained glass process a little bit easier and a little bit more enjoyable. And I feel guilty when you guys say that whatever video I've made or whatever product I got makes you jealous. It's literally just stuff. At the end of the day, this is all just stuff. You don't need any of it. Once the camera turns off, I'm literally just the same person as you. I'm gonna put this back in the drawer. I'm gonna put this back in the other drawer. I'm gonna put these back in the basement, maybe pull it out tomorrow when I have to use it or whatever. It's literally all just stuff and ultimately none of it matters. You can make stained glass however you want to make it. I tell you guys all the time, as long as we're getting to the same end result, it does not matter how we got there. If your piece has structural integrity, you've made it well, how you got there doesn't matter. Yes, it's awesome to have all of these extra tools and machines and it makes it really fun, but you don't need it. You do not need any of this stuff. So 
With all that being said, I think that's it for today's video, guys. A super, super quick one. I hope you guys found it helpful. If there is a product that I didn't mention in today's video, please comment down below and I'll get it in my next video or try to answer whatever question it is that you have. I think that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video if you did, comment down below and let me know what you want to see next and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, and I'm feeling better, guys. So much better, finally.